Welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. Today we're going to be talking about the internet and how you can find good deals online. I know I'm always being contacted by family and friends who are looking for the best deal on a certain product that they're buying. And I usually go through a whole process of how I find the best deal and then I save them the trouble and just send them the link. But today I'm going to break it down for you and show you exactly how I do this. And hopefully it'll help you save some money in the future. So stick with me and follow along. Okay. So to begin, what I would typically do is receive a text message or whatever from a family member who is looking for a product. So we're just going to simulate this today. Let's, let's say somebody's looking for a Yeti Blackout USB microphone. That's a good name brand. I mean, everybody knows Yeti in the microphone business these days. But this example is going to work across all products. It's going to be... It works for anything online, really. If there's a deal out there, you can usually find it this way. So, right here you see at GameStop, the Yeti Blackout USB microphone is $109.99. Okay. It's a little expensive, uh, but I'm not a specialist, and I know uh, Yeti makes good stuff, so it seems reasonable, of course. But let's say they ask to find a better deal. So, the first place I'm going to go to look for comparable prices is Google Shopping. Right here, um, they usually will break down all the different retailers when you put in a product and show you the pricing. So let's just type in Yeti Blackout USB microphone. Okay. <clears throat> Automatically, we can see here different prices. So um, I don't know why GameStop showing 89 here in in Google Shopping when we were just on the GameStop site and it was oh I guess it's the no well, pre owned is 104 so anyway 109.99 we'll just go with that and shopping shows you a bunch of different options you have here so if you go to Target it's going to be 129 Best Buy it's at 129 B and H Photo and Video you get a used version but refurbished excellent condition I'm sure uh, it's 76 dollars so. Right there, if you decided to pull the trigger on this, you could save 30 bucks, $35, something like that, if you went to B&H Photo Video and, uh, and picked that out. So that's a good start. Nothing wrong with that. And you can keep scrolling through. It's going to show you comparable microphones, uh, even on eBay. Here's the, the Yeti Nano. It's not the same one, but similar microphone. Office Depot, we're back at the 129 cost. Uh, that Yeti Nano right there is somebody trying to sell the Yeti Nano as a blackout. So be careful. Be careful on eBay. There's nothing wrong with eBay. I found tons of good deals there over the years. But uh, you'll find things like this where it's... I mean, clearly you can buy a $50 microphone, a $50 Blue Yeti Nano at Walmart, and then somebody's turned around trying to sell it for 80 as the blackout. when it's, It looks similar, but it's not. So... We can go through all this. There's a, a Yeti Blackout PUBG version, which is probably the exact same thing for 75. So there's you another dollar savings off of B&H Photo Video. And then over here, Walmart offers it with the microphone stand and all that, but we're just looking for the microphone right now. So if we scroll down, they'll show you like the best deal they can find is $89.99. I don't know what exactly it takes to trip their filters or or make this list, but anyway, the free two-day shipping shows Best Buy, and then there's one, one used at GameStop, which, uh, you know, that was not the best deal we saw, but you can click down here to compare prices from 100 stores, and it'll give you a whole breakdown on all the prices that we were just looking at. I mean, we've got five pages of prices for this thing. So that's our first step. We've gone from... Family member or friend sends you a link to GameStop where this microphone's $130. Or not 130 that's my mistake. It was $109.99. And we've already been able to find it for $35 less on two different websites now. So that's a pretty good win for a name brand product. Now, what I do to take it a step further is I will go off brand. This is probably your best bet when it comes to buying something and you have to buy the uh, name brand product. 
And some people are sticklers for that, and that's fine. Um, I know my sister often asks me for things, and she prefers to have the name brand product. That's, that's okay. I don't. Uh, I'm filming this with an off-brand camera. Um, I'm lit up with off-brand lights, and I'm talking to you through an off-brand microphone right now. So, what I do to take these deals even further is I'll go for what we're really looking for. Say, do they really need the Yeti blackout? Or do they just like the way it looks and need a good USB microphone? In my case, it would be, I just need a USB microphone. So I would take that over to Amazon. Put USB microphone in. And we'll start there. As you scroll down the list, you'll see so many different things that look like it. Here's the, uh, the blue Yeti that we were talking about a minute ago. The blackout. But then you can find these $20 for this microphone. The blue snowball from the same company is $39. And you can just go down the list and you'll be finding deals on all kinds of microphones. I mean, that I wouldn't even recommend that, but 1,300 reviews. This one, $31, 22,000 reviews, four and a half stars. Generally, for, you know, if you've been around for a while, you've seen me film videos and, and audio that comes through one speaker only and all kind of crazy stuff. So just in general, if you're trying to get by, you know, I would buy the cheapest option. What I'm currently recording on is this right here. <clears throat> $52, but it's the Fafine, Fafine, not a name brand, but the audio is good very good actually plugs in through USB and I've had no issues with it I love how it has a little knob where I can turn the gain up and down right there on the microphone but I'm not trying to sell you guys a microphone we're talking about deals here so this one's also a really good recommended one the toner microphone um so anyway all right we found several deals on USB microphones, and if what we're going to do is we just need a good USB microphone, then any of these would probably cut it. So we're talking from $109 down to $21.99, $29.99, $39 if you want to stretch it, $35. That's oh, $75 in savings, roughly. Pretty good deal. I mean... That, you can use that extra money to buy your microphone boom and and all the other accessories that you might need for it. But then again, I'm not selling you a microphone. I'm telling you how to find these deals. So we've gone from the source, which was GameStop, for our example. We went to Google Shopping and found better deals there where we saved $35. We came over to Amazon, and if you want to change from the brand name to an off-brand item, which works... It's hit and miss on electronics, but if you read your reviews, you'll rarely be disappointed. And here, where we've changed from buying the Yeti name to buying an off-brand piece of equipment, we're saving $75 now. And there's one more step. We can take it even further. Now, I need to back up for a second and just say that sometimes you'll find yourself selling these to the person. It's really a passion at this point. Um, you know, so if somebody asks me for a Yeti Blackout, I have to find the good deal. And I say, well, you can get the Yeti Blackout. Here's a deal I found for $30 less than that one. But here's a microphone on Amazon with 22,000 good reviews. And it's $75 less. And it'll do the same thing, you know. So you turn into a salesman of whatever you're trying to um, get them to buy. And in reality, it doesn't make me money. It doesn't make you money doing this. It's just when the people I care about are asking for help, I try to help them in the best way I can and offer them a few choices for solution. So anyway, with that being said, let's go over the last step, which is one of my personal favorites, the forklift. The forklift.net is a warehouse deal search site. Basically, it takes everything that's on Amazon as a warehouse deal and puts it in a searchable database. So here we're going to look for USB microphone. Just see what we come up with. Now you're going to have to filter these. 
because there's going to be a lot of different options. Here's our, uh, here's a blue Yeti for $99. Here's a $35 USB microphone marked down to $8 and 64 cents. Um, I mean, we can go down this list and find deals all day long and you're going to have to search for them. It's, that's why people want you to help find deals. It's not uh, a few clicks and you're done, you know, because there's going to be some things that here they mark the new price up higher. You have like third party retailers on Amazon who will mark the price up higher to make it look like you're getting a deal at the warehouse deal. But in reality, you're either paying the regular value for it or paying more. Um, but then you find stuff like this, you know, $38.99 regular price, $15.99 here. Uh, this one, $50 microphone for $7.44 used in very good condition. A lot of times these warehouse deals are just product returns and maybe they've got a scratch. Maybe they're missing the box. I've bought probably more warehouse deals in my time on the internet than I have bought brand new product and they rarely have any issues. Most of the time I find that the description they give where it says there's a cosmetic imperfection or box is missing, things like that is accurate. And when you get it, the product works fine. USB microphone, $19.99 for $7. $109 microphone for $34. This is my favorite step. One of my favorite sites. I have bought so many things through the forklift over the years. Um, and if I could only hunt deals on one site anymore, the forklift would be it. And I'm not paid to say that. I have no affiliation with the forklift. They have just saved me a ton of money over the years by letting me get products that have been returned. So it's a, it's a, not really a secret. I mean, it's the public website, but a lot of people are not aware of it. I'm going to backtrack and show you the process one more time just to let you know that this works for other products. I'm going to do it a little faster this time. Not going to explain every little detail because I've shown you how it works now and I'm going to prove it to you with other products. So, okay, for our second product, we're just going to do a ring light. Here it is on Best Buy, $34.99. I just grabbed one that I found in a Google search for ring light. Um, this is an 8-inch ring light. comes with a little... Bluetooth thing for the phone, a uh, little tripod, phone clamp, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm not here to sell you a ring light again, but I'm showing you the process. So $34.99, what our ring light is. Up here in Google Shopping, we'll look for this Bauer ring light. Let's see what we get. Best Buy, $34.99, Walmart, $36. Amazon's creeping in on us here. What is all this? These are actual listings on Amazon. Here's another ring light on Walmart that is not a Bauer. Uh, do, do you know Bauer? Not not dissing Bauer. Um, I'm sure Bauer is a great company. I see they make lots of other ring lights and, and things of that nature. But if you were to buy an 8-inch ring light, do you really care that it's a certain name brand? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. If you do, then here's your options. If you don't care, let's head on over to Amazon and check out what other ring light deals we can find. On Amazon, we've got a ring light with the little Bluetooth thing and a tripod and a phone holder, $24.99. That's $10 less than what we found at Best Buy. Here's another one, similar price. This one's got different colors. This is a 10 inch ring light for $22 with all the, the kit and caboodle as they say. $15 for a 10 inch ring light. Uh, my face is lit up right now with an eight inch ring light. So a 10 inch ring light should be sufficient. So $22, $25 is where we're at on Amazon. Just sticking to the first page. But let's go over to the forklift. Ring light. Here's a 10 inch ring light, $49.99 marked down to $9. Here's one, uh, this probably, oh, that's a clip on ring light. You wouldn't want that anyway. Let's see, 10 inch ring light with a clamp, $17. Dual ring light set up for 
10 inch ring light, 25. Six inch for $12, 10 inch for $7 in mint condition. So you understand where I'm going. We've taken our base product that someone wants and we've shown them alternatives at, you know, alternative pricing for the same name brand. But then we break it down and go to Amazon to find off brands that'll do the same thing and be the same quality usually, but for a fraction of the price. And we've taken someone who was going to pay $35 for a ring light and gotten it for $10. Um, and like I said, it doesn't always work for everybody. It doesn't work for every product. If you've got a really niche product that I wouldn't do it to buy brake pads for my truck because that's a niche product and you're not going to find a bunch of listings and different brake pads and do different things. You know, it, you understand what I'm getting at here. This is my process for finding deals online. If this has helped you out, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're notified of my new uploads. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down below and I'll be glad to help out. If you find a niche product that you are unable to get a deal on, drop it in the comments. Let me know. I'm always up for a challenge and I love hunting for good deals. So thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.